Hello again. This is Nelson Barber, Charles Taze Russell, page 73 of Three Worlds Plan of Redemption, still under chronology. He's dealing now with the difficulties of the chronology that's derived from the English text, itself derived from the Hebrew text. As this chronology stands in the Old Testament, there are three difficulties, one at the commencement, one in the middle, and one at the end of this 450 years that Paul talks about, where that's more or less a summation of the period of the judges up until the time of Samuel. Between the division of the land and the first eight years, that's Judges 3.8, there is a break, a period covered by the statement found in Judges 2.7, but having no direct measurement. Then, in the middle of this period, there is a lap of 20 years during the judgeship of Samson. This time is given, Judges 16.31, as part of the chronology, just like all the others. But in another place, we learn that his judgeship was in or during the 40 years of the Philistines, according to Judges 15.20, which had just been counted. And yet it takes all that is given in Judges, this 20 included, to make the 450 mentioned by Paul. The third difficulty is with the terminus, until Samuel the prophet, is a very indefinite ending. Samuel was with Eli, the last judge, when a mere child, and he was contemporary with King Saul during nearly all of his reign, and even anointed David as king. But notwithstanding all these difficulties, we think the apostle has used just the language to set everything right, connecting each end and taking out the tangle in the middle. To my mind, the fact that only in this and the one other difficult place is the subject of chronology introduced in the New Testament, and that, that without such assistance we should have been entirely at fault, is satisfactory evidence that the design was to impart light, and I accept it as much with far more satisfaction than I would take Bishop Usher or any other chronological writer who gives these Bible statements the go-by as being too difficult to master and take the easier course of appealing to Josephus to help them over these difficulties. For he had only the Jewish sacred books from which to draw his information, and he is so universally careless in all his chronological statements that seldom, if ever, is he in harmony with his own scriptures. For instance, he says, that's Josephus says, the children of Israel remained for 30 days after they left Egypt on the shores of the Red Sea before crossing over which is in direct opposition to the statement in Exodus 16.1. And his chronology is generally faulty. And now, Barber gives us a, a, a diagram which illustrates the overlapping nature of the, of the space of 450 years mentioned by Paul as encompassing generally the period of the judges up until Samuel. And then he says, besides the diagram, here the chronology stands just as is given, we had reached the division of the land with no break, now follows a period during the remainder of the life of Joshua and the elders who outlived him, of the measure of which the Old Testament is silent. Then, after a long period under various judges, the lap of the twenty years of Samson occurs, followed by the last judge, Eli, then King Saul, before we reach the time of David, where the regular chronology begins again. Samuel was contemporary both with Eli and King Saul, and nowhere is the age of a prophet associated with chronology, hence, is, hence Samuel's age is not given. Though there is no doubt that considerable time transpired between the death of Eli and the crowning of Saul, still there is no measurement covering this, only as it is included in the two spaces of time named by Paul which seems, seem to cover all from the division of the land until Samuel, and from that to David. And the time named, 450, is exactly what Paul, who was familiar with the scriptures, must have found given in the Judges as its measurement. Nor could he have been ignorant of the break during the life of Joshua, or of the lap during the judgeship, judgeship of Samson, and yet he says, he divided unto them their land by lot. And after that he gave judges about the space of 450 years. And afterwards they desired a king. And he had given them Saul, the son of Sis, by the space, or in the space. The preposition by is not in the original, for 40 years. 
place the 450 years under the six, but the 40 years of for Saul will be reckoned among the kings in the next period as follows. And then he gives a list of the, the kingships all the way to the exile, starting with Saul's 40, David's 40, Solomon 40, etc. But what's missing from all of this, of course, is that Paul was quoting the Septuagint more often than not in the New Testament. So why is that not factored in here? So he concludes the argument this way. After talking about Zedekiah's reign of 11 years, he has a total of 513. He says, place the 513 under the 450. This hypothetical page that you're adding the numbers as he goes along. With the end of the 11th year of Zedekiah, unto the carrying away of Jerusalem captive, according to Jeremiah 1.3, we reach the end of the kingdom. And is here, the diadem was removed to be no more until he comes whose right it is, according to Ezekiel 21, verses 25 to 27. Then follows the 70 years captivity, or rather desolation of the land, according to 2 Chronicles 36.21 place this 70 under the 513 and you have reached the end of inspired chronology. This 70 years terminated in the first year of Cyrus, king of Persia, to fulfill the word of the Lord by Jeremiah. Now there's the mischief. Barber has planted this as the inspired chronology and the watchtower is still following it. They're still assuming that the 70 years is from the desolation under Zedekiah to the decree of Cyrus or to the return under Cyrus. That's a, a great mistake and it's not shared by the classical chronologers. None of the archaeologists or historians that I have found, and I've researched this for decades, no chronologer or archaeologist or Old Testament historian or commentator agrees with the Watchtower in, in trying to stick the 70 year period between the desolation under Zedekiah in his 11th year and the restoration under Cyrus. And then, of course, he's using, like I said, he's not using the Septuagint num numbers at all in, in here. That's a very big problem. I'm going to link to 607 witnesses against the watchtower of this. The research I did, following up on Ray Franz's research, which was also pretty elaborate, but I don't think he researched it to the, to the same depth that I had to go to satisfy myself that the Watchtower had no basis at all for their date 607. So that link is on your screen, plus the, at the, in, the, in the end of it you'll see a, an ad for the PDF of that, which you can obtain by sending us an email.